Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and a viewer pointed out I've got a flaw with my oven knob. I've got a solution, so let's get cracking. Alrighty, friends, so this is an oven knob from Thingiverse. A user asked, how do I change it so it fits my oven? Friends, I have not seen this person's oven, so I don't really have a clue how it looks, but let me show you what I did. If we hide this part, I simply put the hole inside, and I'll have the whole other video up above. Now, if you've ever seen an oven, friends, it's really got a pin that's shaped like a D so that the knob can spin correctly. We're going to fix that by simply making this a solid, bringing out a rectangle, and then we're gonna find the correct size for that D-shaped hole, and we're gonna group those, and then we're gonna make that a hole. Now when we go back here, we can double check our alignment. I'm going to assume it's good, and I'm gonna show you how I test it too. So when we group that, now we have got our new cutout shape where it has the D-shaped pin. Now once again, I am just guessing because I do not have calipers to measure somebody's oven stove, but here's what I would do to print this and check it. Instead of doing a full print, I would just take a nether Tinkercad hole and I would raise it up one by doing control up millimeter. So now when I group this, we will have a really quick part we can print to test and see if it fits the way we expect. That my friends is how I would get the oven knob dialed in so that it turned out perfectly. Now I'll give you another tip. If you go to adjust it, I would do control D and start another one and then I would make a note for V1 and V2. I've had so many of these projects where I will get V2 printing and all of a sudden I'll find that V1 was closer. So by having the different versions all saved in the same Tinkercad project and using notes, you can have a better shot at finally being successful. Alrighty friends, so I hope that helps and if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, you can add that down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.